Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to another Wild Orchid Crafts video on behalf of the Wild Bunch. I'm here with you today on this beautiful hot sunny day to show you a really cool project that I came up with. Um, I'm sure it's not an original idea because we all do a lot of alterations, but I came up with this idea and thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I needed a place to keep a bunch of these antique keys that my husband had picked up for me in the vintage uh, flea markets. And I needed something small enough that I can keep on my desk and that I can have it as a go-to place to keep these keys in. And I came up with this really cool, oops, sorry, really cool idea. And I thought that I would make my design team project out of it. And I'm going to share it with you right now. What I had done was, was I altered a medicine bottle. And I used a tea time uh, paper by Prima along with um, my ATG gun to wrap it around and um, I sealed here with some hot glue and I used a Wild Orca Crafts strand of pearls on the bottom. I also etched it with the Ranger ink all around the bottom. I believe that might have been a vintage photo. And I painted the little wooden legs there and I put some of the Wild Orchid Crafts um, seam binding around the top and tied a bow and then I put a piece of felt on the bottom of the where the flowers are on the cap and I added some of the beautiful trellis trellis roses and you'll see here the beautiful white gladioli flowers as well as these um, the gypsyola flowers the little white ones that are in there and the, the pink roses just absolutely stunning I love wild orchocrafts flowers I just, I get so super excited when my DT kit comes and the mailman already knows that it's for me. And so, um, yeah, it, it was a really fun project to make. I'm just trying to not get too close, but enough where uh, you'll be able to uh, see what I had done here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just show you this is totally usable. There's the cover. I took the label off on the um, outside so that, you know, when you open it, you wouldn't see a, a name label on there. You just see the paper that's there. And it's just one of those medication uh, bottles. And the cover is like that. And it just simply goes on, like I'll show you. The keys are going to go in there. And you just close it and it locks. And I can use it for anything else. I mean, I can use it for a medicine bottle or for whatever I might want to use it for um, and, you know, hide it. And no one would know that that's a, a medicine bottle. Like if you guys have children and, you know, you need to use certain medication daily but don't want anyone to pick up on where it might be. Or even, you know, some people hide their jewelry. They don't have a jewelry box and they want to put it in a place when they have company and afraid you never know somebody comes around and can accidentally <laughs> or intentionally go through your belongings and no one would even know that that's a jar so yeah this was really a lot of fun to make I used some really nice uh, Wild Walker Craft products and one of the ones that I loved the most was the um, the two-tone rosy baby pink open roses um, those are right here they're very beautiful. I absolutely had fun working. And this was, this. I'm sorry, I'm just moving my tripod back. This was actually a really fun project to make. I think that's a little bit clearer now for you to see. I really enjoyed making this. It was something that I have not made before. Um, and it actually looks really nice on the table uh, in my craft room. Um, I really do like the way that it came out. And I think that uh, going forward uh, these little medicine bottles instead of throwing them away I think I'm going to alter them with other papers I was actually thinking about maybe getting some wallpaper from the local store around here that sells wallpaper and using some of the sometimes they have like outside of the building uh, these big tall um, containers uh, with uh, small rolls of leftovers and you know sometimes it's something there that might be ideal like a couple of feet or something and I would have that forever to play with and um, 
I was thinking of using that because the fabric might look nice for a change. I'm using that with some of the raffia and the seam binding from Wild Oka Crest and just let my, my imagination run wild with that. But one of my other favorite, favorite flowers are the trellis roses. And this is the taupe one. Isn't that so gorgeous? And if you notice how I had done this, um, can I lay this down? I wonder. Yeah. Okay. If you notice when I had designed this, um, what I did there was I used a lot of these small little flowers. Um, if you, I'm pointing at the actually the gypsophilia flower, um, that's the little white one here, and the other pink rose and the smaller closed rose. I put those inside of the petals of the roses to just kind of give them a little bit more of like an accent to highlight the large taupe trellis rose and give it a little bit more depth and character and I think that it really really looked nice and I've never even used I've I've had for a, a little bit of time the gladioli which is this one right here it's kind of like that that white star flower how pretty is that I had no idea that it was really so beautiful on a project I just wound up getting that and I don't know, sometimes I just didn't get a chance to use it or it didn't fit in with the type of project that I was making. And I also use my calla lily flowers, which I totally love. And, of course, the seam binding makes the whole thing. It's just just a beautiful um, little project to make. Really fun uh, for those of you who have kids. Uh, you know, um, this is a really cute project. Maybe if they want to keep, like, little girls to keep their earrings and tiny little toys in and things like that would be fun. Maybe even, you know, poke a hole on each side of the container and make it a little pocketbook for the little girl to carry around with. There's so many things that you can do with this. And I have so much fun sometimes um, altering pro projects, altering uh, alterations in general, just taking something that you're about to throw out and try to make use of it by altering it and making a beautiful project such as this. So I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this as much as I enjoy making it and I hope that you can come on back and take a look at some of the other beautiful projects that the Wild Bunch ladies create going on over to our YouTube page. Everything will be listed in the drop down box, box below along with all of the product codes that were used in this project our Facebook page and our uh, wildsoilcrest.com website link and more. So thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And thank you again ahead of time for all of your comments. You guys are fantastic. Have a great day and thank you for coming by.